Hey everyone, it's shopping day. But before I get shopping, I'd like to share with you guys my number one and my number two tips for staying within my grocery budget for the month because that's what it's all about. Grocery shopping and loading up groceries for the month is going to be a big, big number. However, it doesn't have to be if I stick with following these two rules. I'm going to uh, step back a little bit here and show you what I did to get ready for the shopping trip today. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna shop. Good morning and welcome to my channel, Country Life. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some tips on how to stay in the grocery budget for the month. But in case you're new here, we are a family of nine. Our two oldest kids actually are moved out though, so I am just um, providing food on a daily basis for seven. And so that's mom and dad here, and then five kids. And they are ages 17, 14, 10, seven and five so pretty big eaters i would say my grocery budget currently is seven hundred and ten dollars and that is for the seven of us um we are actually probably going to drop that down just a little bit again because when um, all nine of us were here the grocery budget was 750. I did knock it down 40 when one of our kids moved out, but I then didn't knock it down a second time because we always were very, very tight. I mean, 750 for nine people was very, very tight. There's kind of this general rule um, that it's somewhere around $100 or so per person per month. So Peter, shh, shh. So we were always operating at definitely under that, but I always felt that was okay because we do have venison. But since the last couple of years, we haven't been getting enough deer to feed our family for the year. We have been supplementing with a half a cow. So I don't have that added into my grocery budget. But anyway, let me just give you some of my best tips. So the first thing that helps me to stay within my grocery budget is... <laughs> Amber's over here making breakfast right now, so if you hear like cheese getting opened and things like that, that's what's happening. But anyway, the very first thing that helps me to stay in my grocery budget is to definitely assess what I already have in my pantry, in my freezer, in my refrigerator. Today, I thought since we are quite low, I thought that it was time to do a little clean out. So I did go through the fridge quick and I pitched some stuff that was just old or whatever. And now I am going to move everything. You see we've got some spills and I don't know, that's looking a little grungy there too. So I'm gonna wipe everything down because since I am doing a huge grocery shop, I'm gonna be filling this baby to the brim. So although the actual cleaning out of the fridge and wiping down everything is not a budgeting tip, it does really help when bringing home all the groceries because um, a month of groceries for seven people is a lot of food and it really does need some place to go. And so if everything is cleaned out and neat and orderly, it just makes it that much easier when we get home to put away the groceries. And the next big thing, probably even more important, is to actually have a plan. So somewhere, hmm. I have to find it. I have a notebook and I like to have, um, I like to put my plan in there. So this month I decided to do something a little bit different. Uh, if you've watched some of my other planning for grocery hauls and just my regular grocery hauls, you'll see that a lot of times I'll have maybe 14 or so meals planned. And then I just kind of pick up all the other things that I know I'm going to need for the month. But this time I'm really, really getting down to the nitty gritty just for the supper meals. So what I thought this month is that I would go to one of those schedules, you know, where you have like Mondays is something, Tuesdays is something. And then each week you just kind of keep that same theme going. So let me show you what I have planned here for this month. Mondays is beef. So here's what I did. We're gonna do beef steak, half potatoes, and big salad. And we will do that on the first Monday, and then we'll do that on the third Monday. Again, what we'll do for two of the Mondays, the second and fourth Monday, we'll do beef roast, mashed potatoes, and frozen veggies. Really, really easy meals. Really easy to buy this for the whole month, too. I know that if I buy frozen veggies now for week four of the month, they'll still be there, because trust me, no one is going to just say, hey, there's frozen broccoli in the freezer. Let's eat that up for a snack. So I know, I try to plan meals that I know um, I can buy the ingredients and keep them on hand for the whole month. Tuesdays, 
uh, is going to be our Taco Tuesday. So the first and third Tuesdays, we're going to do venison tacos. And then the second one, we'll do pork carnitas. And the fourth Tuesday, we'll do shrimp tacos. That's kind of another family favorite. It kind of changes it up a little bit. Uh, the kids will be thrilled with tacos. Warren will like that I kind of change it up a little bit because he does get a little bit tired of tacos if we did it every week. Same with the chicken day. We'll have baked chicken uh, two times through the month and then we'll do chicken and rice hot dish uh, the two other Wednesdays. And I just kind of continued on with that. I also did plan a couple things for lunch. Um, we have some sausage in the freezer that one of the hunters had gifted to us, and so I thought we can always thaw some sausage to add on, you know, if we don't have enough leftovers the next day. Also, I always keep on hand like elbow macaroni or something like that, so we can make some homemade mac and cheese. And Amber loves to make quesadillas, so she probably on days when we have leftovers and maybe there isn't quite enough, she'll probably just whip up a quesadilla if I have some sort of meat and uh, peppers and onions and cheese, she's pretty much good to go. She also likes to make pizza quesadillas and so we found that that squeeze pizza sauce is nice to keep on hand for doing something like that. Once I had this plan all ready to go, I made a super detailed list, grocery list. Typically, I put down the ingredients that I need on my list, and then I just kind of shop knowing the other things that I normally get, but this time I didn't. I actually wrote down every single little thing, all the way to apples, and you know, I usually don't write peanut butter on my list, I just know I need to get one. I don't normally write black olives on my list, I just know I get a bunch of cans. But this time I really went through and tried to count up every little thing I'm going to need. I total, totaled this all up and I'm planning on having a grocery shopping trip today that's going to come in somewhere around $478.50. There you go. I put it out there. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to stay within that uh, budget. That's going to be for the whole month. And then I'll have a couple extra hundred dollars for the rest of the month knowing that we'll have to go back and pick up things like milk for sure and most likely we'll have to pick up more fruit and then probably more lettuce because we'll, you know, once I get the lettuce, anyway, those perishables we'll have to pick up more of in the month. Nothing wrecks a budget more than not having a plan for grocery shopping for the month because then it's so easy to just stop in and it's like, oh, we need something quick for supper and then, I don't know, we get something like some kind of chicken tenders and french fries and I don't even know what else. And anyways, it pretty soon it comes out to be, you know, like a $14 meal. And although that's a lot cheaper than a restaurant, it still is more expensive than, you know, having a really good plan in the first place. So that is pretty much my best tips for staying within the budget. It really is all about having a plan. So if you've made it this far and you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. I'm going to be on my way to the grocery store here in just a little bit. All right, so we're at Aldi right now and I'm gonna head in to do my grocery shopping. I thought I'd take you guys with me a little bit. It is sometimes a little awkward to grocery shop with um, a camera in hand, but you know what? I've done it before and I'll probably do it today and I'll probably do it again for you guys. So let's go in, see what kind of deals they have at Aldi. Um, like I told you before I do have a $710 budget well I thought I did I actually looked at the budget Warren had just put the um, cash into the envelopes and actually um, we went down to $700 this month so we bumped it down just a tiny tiny smidge um, we're still working on getting it down a little bit further since our two oldest kids have moved out but we're at $700. I left exactly $100 at home so that I can use that in my subsequent in subsequent weeks to be sure that I can get milk and other perishables. So today I do have with me $600. I'm hoping to keep this at around $500. Uh, I did show you, you guys remember that I showed you my um, 
my list and I kind of went through and added up everything as to what I thought the cost was going to be and it came to like $478 I think in 50 cents. So we'll see how close I can get to that uh, because even though I have that, that just crazy perfect list, I mean it it's pretty perfect this month I have to say. Um, I do know that I'll probably see a couple things that might be on sale at Aldi this week that I might not have been planning for or I might see some of my favorite red dollar off stickers there and so I might pick up something like that too. So let's head on in and see what we can do. Alrighty so I am only like two aisles into Aldi and here's what the cart is looking like so far. There's 10 dozen eggs for the whole entire month. And I have six gallons of milk. That'll get us through probably eight or so days. I went back to my traditional eight loaves of bread underneath there someplace. I got all the hamburger and hot dog buns for our four Saturdays of hamburgers, brats, and hot dogs. I have so many vegetables underneath here most of which will get eaten in the first two weeks of meals. I do have a lot of plans for potatoes this month, so I did get 30 pounds. It feels like overkill, but like I said, I have some big plans, so. And I think I'm gonna have to check out shortly and probably come back through for the rest of the aisles. Okay, so round one at Aldi came out to $210. That was the first row and most of the second aisle. But there's a lot of bulky stuff because you have all the fruits and vegetables and all the bread. So I'm coming out to the car, I'm gonna load everything and I'm gonna go back in to go through because I knew there was no way I was gonna get down another aisle. I mean, look at that. So we're gearing up for a whole month. So this is just the kind of deal that I'm looking for at Aldi's here. Um, we always get these uncured beef franks. Look at, they're normally $2.69, but the date on these today uh, says use or freeze by May 2nd, which is in about three days, I think, and they're marked to 99 cents. So I just got eight packs. I mean, I almost want to get all of them, but I'm just not going to. I'm gonna get eight packs for $8, which is still less than I would have paid for the original four packs that I wanted. So that's just the kind of thing I'm looking for. I'm gonna put those in the freezer and they will still be good all month long. Alrighty, so round two in Aldi is all done and the second round came in at $272 for all of my food. So if you add that up, $272 and $210, I think that comes to $482. I had gone into the shopping trip thinking that the groceries were going to cost me $478.50. I do still have some things I have to pick up at Walmart. Uh, Aldi does not carry barley and they don't carry um, something else that's on my list. And they were also out of the shrimp that I always get. Now I'm going to check the price at Walmart. I'm thinking I'll probably just wait it out, run back in here some other time. Uh, when I, you know, when I'm just driving by quick or something like that, because $5.89 I believe is the price here, and so I just think it's going to be a lot cheaper at Aldi. Even, you know, even though Walmart has great prices on so many things, I do think it's going to be cheaper here. So it started raining. <laughs> there it is outside. So I always load my groceries straight into the car. So I'm feeling a bit disheveled right now, but now I need to uh, zip over to Walmart, pick up the rest of the food stuff that I need, which really isn't that much. I'm going to sign off this whole video for now. I ask that you guys give this a thumbs up. And uh, if you do have comments, questions, concerns regarding this grocery haul, head on over to the community tab. That's where I'll have a spot for us to chit chat about this. Because as you guys know, I love talking groceries, grocery shopping, all the things food. So head on over there, we'll chit chat. And that's it for now. Be on the lookout for the giant grocery haul when I get home. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys all again soon. Bye-bye.